it going, everyone? Back with another exciting EverQuestic adventure. We're going to be continuing on the Enchanter Epic. We're going to be doing the second piece of staff, going through each step, where to go, where to get the items. Um, m most of them are ground spawns. The first step is killing Castle in Oasis. I'm sure you know who Castle is, because if you've ever leveled out there, he... He, he's probably got you every once in a while, and you need to get the spoon um, off of him. I don't really know what his spawn timer is. It's either 18 hours or it's either 24 hours. I don't recall, but he has massive regen. He can't be soloed on an enchanter because there was a change to the NPCs out there where you, you can no longer charm the NPCs. So I did it as a duo with... A chamois who was out there um, while I was on my necro. Essentially, I just snared him, feared him, dotted him up. The shaman, he dotted him up, and he went down. <clears throat> he went down pretty easy. You, you've got to get the spoon here. The spoon from it. It says common drop, but I'm pretty sure it drops every single time. I'm pretty sure. Great thing about the spoon is it is not a, a no-drop item, so you can loot it on any tune and give it to your enchanter. And you can actually even buy one in EC for like three to 500 plat or whatever, uh, if you ever see one for for the easy way. But he's not too hard to kill. Um, ju just get a couple buddies out there, and you can down him pretty easily. But this is the... the the first step, and I'm going to bounce over to the clip where I down him with a buddy shaman. It's actually a random shaman who's out there killing sand giants, and um, he just happened to jump in and help me. So kudos to him. Shout out to him. That was awesome. But anyways, without further ado, let's bounce over to the Kaz. I guess I should start recording. <laughs> I got shaman buddy. Kazel's found. We got a shaman buddy. He has insane regen. I'm going to try to concentrate here to keep our fears going on. Shaman's dotting them up. I'm dotting them up. <laughs> We're getting them down. We're getting them down. I need to get a weapon click on them. I just don't want them to run. Here's tw it's 22 seconds. We have Splur. I think I have all my dots ticking. This will be for the spoon. Uh oh, my Dooming Darkness is about to wear off. He is running. We need to get more dots. We need more dots. <clears throat> Thanks, buddy. Castle is down. The spoon should. It is not a no drop. Perfect. There we go. Castle down. All right. Now we're on to the next part of the quest. Uh, we need to go to the over there, which I am in, and get the one key. So right here, if you see where I am at on the... Hear me zoom out a little bit. On the map in this little cove right here, uh, you'll, you'll see this big ramp thing that comes down. And then right off to the left, there is this archway that comes down if you follow that archway right here on this little happy freaking pillar down here uh get levon get the air elemental form and then we we're gonna levitate off and follow that archway down and the one key will be right on top of this archway i'll try to zoom in a little more on the map you can see it is right here and me looting it is coming up on the next part. One more part done. 
off to the next part, which is going to be the Lost Scroll in Dalinar. So let's head over to that. I'm going to be showing you guys how to pick up the ground spawn in Dalinar. Um, it is on a 24 hour timer, so you have to know what the timer is. So sometimes you're going to wait there for a while, but Dalinar is kind of a big zone. It's kind of a maze. So I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to get there. I don't know it extremely, extremely well, but I'm pretty sure I, I have a decent path of uh, having in parse really, really, really helps. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started to show you how to get down to where the Lost Scroll spawns at. Again, it is on a 24 hour timer. Uh, so far, running in here, I have not seen anything that season viz. I didn't even check. I just yolo down here, and if something happened, I was just going to handle it. But uh, I'm not buffed or anything. I just throw on CN viz and improved invisibility. And Dalinir, if you don't know, it is in War Schoolist Woods in a little cave here. I'll show you. So if you see, here is War Schoolist Woods, and it's this little cave entrance, and then... Uh, you just zone in to here. Again, nothing that I've seen so far or came across so far in here, season viz. So you're just able to YOLO around. Uh, if you're using in parse, turn on your Z axis uh, option and look at that. Bam. So essentially, we're going to be coming back all the way over to here. And there is a pond back there that you drop down through. And with improved invisibility or invis or whatever, it's pretty easy to get back there. But it did take me a while to find it because this place is massive and it's kind of a maze. Maybe there's an easier way to get down there. There might be, but this is just the way that I found. And I kind of like this zone. I should come here at l lower levels and try to level here. But anyways, you're, you're, you're going to come up. You're going to go around. And right here, it has this little pond thing right here. Hop up on, fall down through. Just like that. And then from here, we are going to uh, turn right here. If you see this ramp, and you follow this ramp down. And on this little checkerboard thing, as you come down the ramp, or not checkerboard, chessboard, whatever. So go ahead and fall through here. And then you drop all the way down to the bottom. And let's scroll in just a little bit. And then uh, let me get my bearings here. Okay. It's this way. So essentially, you're going to want to go west. Come through here. And then right here, oh, not here, right here where it has all this bloody stuff, you're you're going to come through here and then duck down and then keep following it around. You're going to go up the ramp. I think that the easiest way to do this is to uh, have the map and come through right here. Look at that. That's interesting. Come into the pond or the marsh area here and we're almost there cruise right down there and if you see it on the map here keep on coming through i'm glad that nothing sees in this here because it looks pretty crazy to get through here then i'll zoom into the map a little bit you're gonna cruise around come into here and right here it spawns right there. This is where it spawns. Short video on how to get down there. Get in parse. It really, really will help you get down here because you can totally get lost in here. And uh, it is a maze. Once you're done to get out, you, you can either gate out or you can come through here. And come this way and it actually has a pad that will that zones you out right here so boom so that's kind of cool so like you can be back in warsless woods and continue on the adventures all right we are on to the next part 
we need to go to the Plane of Sky and get the Book of Charm and Sacrifice. If you've never been to Plane of Sky, essentially what it is, it's a high-level raid zone. You need a wizard to port you up. W wizards are the only class that can get you up to the Plane of Sky. Essentially, what I did is... You, you want to bounce over to Uridin. You want to get yourself a Cloudy Stone of Vashan. That is the reagent needed to port you up to the Plane of Sky. There are about 250 plat uh, or so. So go over to Uridin, grab one of those. So when you find yourself a wizard, you already have the reagent because they're not going to port you up for free because they're freaking expensive. <laughs> so hop over to Uridin, get yourself a Cloudy Stone of Ashan, and then find yourself a nice wizard uh, to, to port you up. Uh, there's a lot of Dilaport people. Uh, it's a level 46 spell, so there there are a lot of Dilaport wizards. If you have a wizard in the guild, even if you ask a random wizard, they'll usually port you up. It, as long as you tip them for the port up and you give them a cloudy, a cloudy, a cloudy stone of the the Vashon. And how how plain as sky is laid out is there are islands. It's a pretty big zone, but there are islands. Um, you, when you port up, you 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 come up on this first island here. There is an an uh, NPC who gives a free key to port you into the the quest room. So you can see here. So you get this key. I'll show you here in a second. You walk up to this portal. You get the key on your cursor. You click the portal. And then it takes you into the quest room. So it's, you don't have to deal with any mobs. It's 100% safe. And then you go into the quest room. You'll 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 see this table here in a minute and grab the book up uh, there. It's a 24-hour timer on the book. So it can be a little pain to get it because it's not like a super easy place to get. Well, it's an easy place to get. It just costs quite a bit of plat if you're going up there all the time to check it. It's 250 plat a pop. So, yeah. That's kind of how it works. To get out of the plane of sky, um, you can just jump off the edge because you're up in the sky. You jump off the edge and you fall down and you zone in to Freeport. So let's go ahead and bounce over to the video here and I will show y'all how it's done. All right, so here we are. Up in the plane of sky, as you can see, there are bodies all over the place. And the reason for this is the plane of sky has a bunch of keys to get up to all the different islands. And you have to go to each island to get the key for the next island. So you go to island one to get the key for island two, island three, blah, blah, blah. So people don't want to do that what, what, like every single time when they come up here to raid. So they corpse all of their keys. And that's why you're going to see massive dead bodies all over the place all right so here is the key master he is a vendor and he will have the key that you need it is 100 percent free so you don't have to spend any plat to get it and i think that's pretty awesome so right here here's the key it is called the sean's key so go ahead and buy one of those so if you look on the map here right up north, that is the portal that I was talking about. So let's go ahead and head over to the portal. So here is the pad. This will uh, take you up to the quest room. So essentially what we do is get the key, get it on our cursor, and then click the pad and bam, we go right into the quest room. Now we are in the quest room. You're going to see the hallway right off to your right-hand side. So go ahead and head down that hallway. And right off to your left-hand side, you're going to see the table in the corner. And when I came up here, the book was already up. Woohoo! I didn't have to wait at all, so I got pretty lucky on that one. Bam! Got the key. One more part down. Now let's go ahead and get out of sky. Jump off the edge, and we'll float right there. Or fall right down into the ocean in Freeport. So I didn't record that part, me jumping off the edge. I thought I did, but this, it, if you see this little room right in here, th this is where you're actually at. When you click in, you end up right here. So just run back up 
and you can jump off of the edge here into land back into Freeport. But boom, there we go. The Book of Charm and Sacrifice and Plain of Sky is done. Now we're going to go to the next part, with, which is combining all of the items in the Enchanter's Sack. Heading over to Akanon and going to see the Mizzle Pizzle Dizzle guy here. He is one of the Enchanter Masters to get the second piece of the staff. And that part will be done. Alright, here we go. We are at the turned in we have all where are they there we go we have all four parts so we need to get up uh, an enchanter sack so we'll put our little mushroom over here we should just be able to say i need a sack and he gives us the uh enchanter sack then make sure i'm doing all the right ones what i'm pretty sure that i am Scroll up and look on the wiki. It should be combine the spoon, one key scroll, and book of charm and sacrifice. So we have the scroll, the one key, the charm and sacrifice, and the spoon combine. Bam! Then we'll check that off. They combine and give it to the Mizzle Greppel. Which, he, he gave us the sack, so it is the right one, but it is clockwork V-I-I-X. So we should just go like this, give it to this guy. Boom! There we go. Check it out. Second piece of the staff down. One more staff down. So that is awesome. Now, uh, we're going to move on to the other parts. Yeah, so there we go. Now we're gonna. Now we got some of the harder parts to do. I gotta kill Verena Tomb. I gotta kill the Wraith and Plane of Fear, the Ghost and the Hole, the Revenant and the Plane of Hate, and then the big Gorilla Tangren and the Field of Bone. We're moving along. We're moving along. We're getting it done. There's two staffs down. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's gonna do it guys for this episode on the second piece of the staff that's gonna do it for me and guys hope you're having a good week hope you're having a good year hope you're having a good day guys stay safe out there if you find this helpful and you like the video like and subscribe and do all that jazz and that's going to be it for me peace